Okay, so I'm gonna be talking about the FTM 500 with the new firmware where you're able to send, save 10 different profiles to the radio. Here I'm using my RT systems. You can see I have a base station profile, a New York City profile, and a mobile profile. So right now I'm working with uh, the New York City profile and how I'm gonna differentiate between the three is when you go to uh, settings and menu, in the call sign field, I'm putting the profile that it is, and I'll show you how that's gonna play out. You know, if you go to APRS, you can see my regular call sign is still in the APRS, so it's not gonna affect the APRS. And I'll show you where this is gonna uh, take place. So let's go to the radio. Here is my uh, FTM 400. Let me just center this a little bit. FTM 500, excuse me. And let me just lock that in. So what I did was I formatted a memory card in the radio and I went back to the uh, RT system software. And the first profile I actually put on my memory card is my base station, because this is my base station. I want to show you how I figured out how I'm going to be using this new feature of 10 uh, profiles. And this radio has been factory reset. So I'm going to hold the menu key in, and we got to go all the way down uh, to the SD card, which is, I think, about 107 or something. One oh seven backup. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the backup. I'm going to read from SD card, and what it does is this is the default profile name. You're unable to rename these profiles. I would have loved it if we, I could have saved base station, mobile, New York City, but you can't rename them. So this is the first profile that always shows up. So I'm just going to say, okay, let's read that in. So now we're going to read this in. Takes a second to read. Okay, now it's completed. Watch when the radio reboots, watch what the screen says. You see it says shack all right so this is my my shack profile so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back into the settings and I'm gonna make a backup of this and I'm gonna write it to the SD card all now watch what it does it creates a second profile with a 001 extension. You see that? D01. So right now, if I back out of this and I go to read from SD card, you're gonna see I have two profiles. They're basically the same right now, but you're gonna see where, why I did this double one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out of everything and I'm gonna take the SD card out. I'm gonna dump it back into my computer. And what I'm gonna to write to the SD card now with my RT system software is another profile. So what I'm gonna do is we did the base station. Now I'm gonna to go to New York City. I'm gonna write data from, write data to SD card. Okay, so now that data is written, and I'm going to put this back into the radio. We're going to go back into the SD card menu. We're going to go to backup. We're going to read from SD card. And we're going to go right back to the 500D. We're going to leave the D01 alone. 
We're going to select 500D, and we're going to read this. So after this loads, when the radio reboot reboots, you should see NYC with my call sign underneath. And that's going to tell me it's the New York City profile I wanted. Okay, let's see what happens when it reboots. Let's see, there's NYC. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this memory card out again. Oh, no, before I take it out, I want to resave it. So I'm going to hold the function key in. I'm going to go to backup. I'm going to write to SD card all. And now this is going to save a profile with a 02 at the end. Remember, you're unable to rename these profiles in the radio. Uh, but if you do it this way, you could see where we are. And obviously, you'll have to remember the names of the profiles with the files name. So see, there's the D02. So now if I back that of here and I go to read from SD, you're going to see I have, this is the default one that always loads. This one is going to be my base station. This one's going to be my uh, New York City one. And now I'm going to take the memory card out. I'm going to put it back into my computer. And now I'm going to write my mobile uh, profile. Communications, write data to SD card. That is done. So now let's put this back into the radio. And again, we're going to run the same procedure. I'm going to go function, backup, read from SD. And again, we're always going to read the 500 with the D, not with the number extensions, because that's where the software is going to write it to. So let me load this up. Now, once this is loaded, you should see uh, mobile on the boot screen along with my call sign. So give this a second. Okay. Okay. And there's mobile. So if I go, uh, Okay, there's I go down to the bottom, I get Okay, so now let's not forget we gotta do one more step. Let's back this up. Let's write it to the SD card. All and now this is gonna make a zero three profile. All right, so the one, two, and three is what we're concerned with. The one is gonna be the base station. Number two is going to be New York City, and number three is going to be mobile. So let's just save this. <coughs> and there you see, the O3 was just created. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're back on the, the main menu, and let's say I want to dump the New York City profile in. What I'm going to do is go into the menu, I'm going to go to backup. I'm going to read from SD card. Now, the number two was my New York City profile. So if I hit the number two and go OK, this should load my New York City profile, and you'll see that on boot up. There's my New York City profile. Same thing, let's go back into the menu. Backup, read from SD card. And my O3 was my mobile profile. I'm gonna load that up. I'm 
and again it'll say mobile on the Buddha. That was the only way I could figure out how to uh, kind of name the profiles. I don't think I'll have more than five or six different profiles. Okay, so there's my mobile profile. And last but not least, because this is my base radio, I'm gonna read my base profile, which was the number one. And this is where we'll leave it. So every time you take the memory card out and you write a new profile to it, it's always gonna write in the 500D list. So you always wanna read the 500D, make sure it loads what you want it to, and then save it. So my next saved one would be 04. But now we should be back to the uh, shack profile. And this is where I'll leave the radio for now. All right, hope you enjoyed this. KB2MXV.